So this one is required by keys. We just did partial by keys, so this is extremely similar. It's almost the same. It's like the inverse sort of style. We're gonna, let's just take the chess. I always wanna just look at the tests because that's the authority. So we have user again, name, age, and address. This time they're all optional. And we pass in name, name becomes required. We pass in a union of name and age, name and age become required. If we pass in nothing, as in the case of A3, then it's the same as them all being required, and we're just using the required built-in to achieve that. And in this case, it's an error if you pass in something that is not a key. I think it was the same, yeah, the same with the one from uh, that we just did partial by keys. So I guess we, we can start with that much, because we know extends key of T, okay. Easy enough. Where would you start on something like like? We can probably grab yeah, yesterday's. Yeah. So, so I guess this this is interesting because we're we're starting with a we're starting with a interface where all of the properties are are optional. That's mm -hmm. the that's the expectation. Yep. So I, I guess to um to map it onto the um well I get I guess what we would maybe want to do is um I know there's with with mapped types there's a Way that you can remove the optionality of of yes. properties. I think I think it's like a minus question mark. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, I don't feel like do it's a, it's not too much cheating to just show. I mean, this is almost identical to the one we just did. So I pasted it above um, the one we did yes uh, for yesterday's challenge. But here it is. Uh, it's yeah, exactly there's, there's the same. The minus. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Um, cool. And then I found, I guess I found a few more for this one. So we have a version that's very similar um, to, so this is this is yesterday, I just put up here for reference, but I guess we won't really need it. This is partial by, by keys. Here is uh, someone called it merge. Uh, in this case, uh, I think, oh, it, it's not, it's different. Okay, never mind. I thought it was like the same implementation. But you can see here that the innards of this is roughly the same. It's just that this does it a little differently. Oh, merge. Oh, they do oh, the intersection is, here. Is required a is required a built in? Yes. Or is that a? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. So it's like the opposite of partial. Yep. Exactly. Um, and I don't think required takes. We can look at it. Um, yeah, a required does not take any uh, any second argument or anything. So you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would probably go with this. Uh, I didn't realize that was built in. So yeah, I, I would probably go with this um, this solution. Uh, it's yeah. It's, I mean, I, I think the like this is this is just the same as um, you know if we uh, did it that way, right? I think so. We let's uh, let's disable these so we can see if the tests pass. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yep. And yeah, yeah they all pass. The, I mean, well, this is a, this is always a fun one that like the you know. Uh, what it, what is it like? Uh, key of a intersect b is um, like that is uh, key of a. Yeah, it's it's like De Morgan's law or something, but in the type system or. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I remember there was a. I think the first TS conf I ever went to, like Anders popped that up on a slide, and I like, you know, <laughs> I stared at it for five minutes and scratched my head, and then like you know achieved achieved enlightenment when yeah. that makes sense, but. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good if you if you've never seen that one before, like that is through, a good one. I'm gonna through that and <laughs> I'm gonna like copy that and put that on the side. Yeah, it's uh I think the journey for me of doing all of this stuff, I'm not I mean, I've been doing TypeScript for a long time and um but this is like a very different kind of thing when you start doing this kind of stuff at this level. I think the the journey has been largely like measured by how well I understand what's going on with intersections. Do, do you know what I mean by that? Like, yeah, I, I think the 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 reason that this is like a this is a real head scratcher is that it's because um, like what a type actually means in TypeScript is not quite the same as what it intuitively or like intuitively how you think about it. Mm. Um, yeah, people like are always. The, I know exactly what you mean. Someone I was uh, talking with the other day was really thrown when I I was trying to explain that this like x in this case means like any non nullish value. So like yeah, well that's that's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but but yeah, I, I think just, I think the the really confusing thing with TypeScript types is that um, the you know if you if you have an interface like um, yeah like this this interface user uh, you know there's um, there's a lot of values that are like basically every 
almost everything is part of that. Almost every object is part of that. Like so long as you, or is assignable to that, just so long as you have, um, as long as it doesn't have a name property, that's like an integer, you know, mm -hmm. like, if, you know, you could, uh, you could say like, you know, uh, Hey, this this is an object that seems like totally unrelated to um, our type, but um, you know it should be uh, yeah should be assignable. Oh right. Oh, but well, yeah, okay. that's just because so it's never that's, used. That's like a linter error. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, it is it is in theory. Oh right, because this is a this is a what is it like a weak type where it only has um, it only has optional mm. properties. If it has a required property, does that? Error go away. Oh yeah, well, yep, it's address is missing. Yeah. like an address. No, um, but I guess my point is that it can it can have other properties that aren't that aren't declared in this type and uh, still be assignable to it, which I think is the like that that's sort of the essence of mm -hmm. duct typing and yep. um, or like open types. And I, I think that's something that people really have a hard time wrapping their heads around when they start using the the TypeScript type system. Definitely. Cool. This was a this was a fun one. I don't think, um, yeah. Okay. I mean, I do have a few more. I don't think we need to. I think we kind of covered it, but I'll put them. I'll throw them up on the screen for two seconds just for fun. Uh, this one is very similar. I think it's using copy, but it's just passing in uh, t. Which, kind one, of, which one are you in? Line thirty nine. Yeah. Uh, on the same one. Uh, yeah. On, yeah, on the same yes. file. Yep, yep. I yeah. just deleted everything else for a second. Um, it does this K and key of T thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I when I when I prepared for all of this, I also found uh, this works as well. K extends key of T. K never. So this is a trick we see more and more as the challenges get harder. As you start seeing people making unions with string or unions with number or unions with key of T in this case, uh, when you need to sort of, it's almost like casting. It feels like. Um, yeah. I actually have a blog post about this one. You do? Too. I need to read uh, your blog, man. I didn't. Uh, I didn't yeah. know you had so much good stuff yeah. on there. Yeah, I think this is this is like the inter, doing an intersection is like the generic type, the generics equivalent of a as any. Um, it, hmm. It's just like you know, I I know what you want, and I can I can just intersect. Yeah, with I'll, what you I'll want force it and, to be there by intersecting it in. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it it usually works. Um, it, <laughs> yeah. it might. You know, it might it might mean that um, your type doesn't do what you want, but it will at least make the type error go away. So yep. you know, obviously, you need to test it, but it's a it's a pretty convenient way of convincing TypeScript that mm -hmm. it shouldn't give you an error. This uh, and then there's this last one here. It's it's a little clever because it uses infer, so it makes this uh, this big whole big thing here, and then it's inferring you out of that, and then taking keys of you and mapping them. This is the merge part. Mm hmm. So interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's one way to do it. I would say this is like the least easy to understand of them all, and some of them were pretty <laughs> tough. Uh, but you know, teach their own. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Uh, cool. Any other? Uh, well, the next one, actually, I won't even ask. The next one is omit by type. We have a little series here. Uh, I hope you're not bored. And uh, <laughs> but we have other cool ones after this. But let's go on to omit by type. 